everyone, it's Lisa, and today I'm going to do my favorite, I think there's about 10 here, but what I did is I went and out of all my fragrances, I chose the ones that I love to wear the most in the summertime. So that is really pretty different than the ones I typically like in the fall and winter because I like more of a boyfriend, deep, kind of musk type scent in the winter time or even vanilla, you know, cashmere, all of those type, you know, adjectives. In the summertime, I prefer more of a fruity, like a fruity floral. If it is a floral, I like it to have more of like a gardenia. Some rose scents don't bother me. And then I love, 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 like you know, a good beachy scent with like bergamot and different fruits and sandalwood and you know, some things like that. So I'm gonna show you, there's some new and then there's some that I've had. I'm gonna show you those scents right now. I'm gonna start off with the House of Siage. They have been so generous to me. I do not feel worthy of what they have done for me, but this is a big gift set that I got a couple weeks ago and I just kind of wanted to wait and include this. So I did text Alex here on YouTube, Monsieur Alex, you guys probably have watched him before. I texted him or emailed him and he emailed me back a few things that I can tell you about the brand. And please forgive me for not just memorizing all the notes and everything, but there was just no way I could. And I figured you guys wouldn't expect me to. But they sent me their blankie. What they have is a new comfort collection. And they have come out with some candles and they have come out with like the cashmere, cashmere feel blanket. And I emailed him because I went on the website to read all about it and the candles were sold out. But they are coming out with some new candles, including the one that they sent me. And they're gonna be restocking, like for Mother's Day. I believe they're pre doing pre-sale right now. So, love this. We love a gray blankie around here. Hey, you guys, I have shown you the lipsticks in the lipstick case. They are gorgeous. Let me see, the one I have on today, I brought out here. My cats are so curious. They cannot stand it. They want to know what I'm doing. Okay, the one I'm wearing today is, um, this was the House of Siage Christian Cowan Collection. And so you will get a case like this for your lipstick case. This is the Christian Cowan. This is one of my favorites. This is the one that I use the most. And I cannot remember what lipstick this is in here. It's what I have on today. And it has like the diamond dust in it. It is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And I got it on with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Medium. If the regular Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk is too light and pinky for you like it is for me, try the medium. I love it. I wear it with a lot of different things. So what you do is you purchase this and then the lipsticks come like they're, ah! they come in a little, box like this. I wonder if this is the one I have in here. Princess? I bet it is. I bet this is Princess on my lips because I had that with that. And then I'll show you. They come in a case like this with the cap and what you do is you just take it right out of there and you slide it right down into your lipstick case and then you can put it back. Okay, so now let's look at what they sent me. And I, I was gonna wait and open it with you guys, but I went ahead and opened most of it because I wanted to ask him about it. And at, you know, I feel like I need to tell you everything because it is not cheap, but it's not cheap. Everything is just like, it's like Rolls Royce of fragrance and lipsticks. Everything is, the Swarovski, Swarovski crystals are like hand placed. And let me just read you a little bit about it that he sent me. The brand is based out of Newport Beach, California, but all of our products are from start to finish are made in France for fragrance and Italy for cosmetics. Um, their fragrances contain 20 to 30% oil concentration and are parfum concentrate, higher grade than the Eau de Parfum. This is one of the highest oil concentrations in the fragrance industry. Most extremely luxe fragrance brands use concentration of no more than 10 to 15% in oil. 
Okay, the craftsmanship. Fragrances are made with over 150 hand-placed diamond cuts or Rofsky crystals and are finished in precious metal gold by fine jewelry artisans who craft fine jewelry for some of the biggest, most iconic French houses in the world. The glass, our fragrances are made with French glass that is hand-polished in France. And they're just works of art. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna open first. And this is a, the special edition of the fragrance Tier, T-I-A-R-E. And you guys are just gonna, the presentation will be like this. It comes in this box and you open it. You have a little cloth for polishing it and just look and it does open like that. But just look at this fragrance. It is, it is just amazing. Is that not the most beautiful bottle you have ever seen? I remember seeing these on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I remember Camille Grammer, it was when, it was one of the episodes when she first was on there, she was having a party and they were I guess they were selling these or I don't know. She had them there as guests to her party and I remember thinking, oh my goodness, that looks like little jewelry cupcakes. They're just beautiful. But look at all of those crystals. Okay, and this fragrance is amazing. I sprayed it last night and I've been spraying a little bit this morning just to kind of remind myself of some different ones and my house smells so good. So, it is so perfect for the summertime so perfect okay let me read you the notes in this inspiration for tiara and this is the limited edition tiara is a luxurious and mesmerizing fragrance inspired by the elegance and regality of the magnetic female aura the sumptuous fragrance is infused with a rare and delicate floral which are blended in sweet notes of madagascar vanilla to simulate the magical and irresistible essence of a stunning and sophisticated woman the top notes are tangerine and cinnamon the heart notes are rose oil and peony and then the base is vanilla and musk so it's like you get everything you get a little bit of spice you get a little bit of fruitiness a little bit of floral and then you get that base of the vanilla and the musk and i think that's what kind of separates these really nice fragrances from the, I don't want to even say any other ones, but the fruity ones that you just get and they, they, you spray them almost like a body spray. You know, you spray them on, they smell good for a little bit, but they kind of go away and it doesn't have any depth. These really have a depth to them. Like you smell all the different notes and they last all day, all day. You only need one. I usually spray my wrist or I spray it and walk through it depending. But like I will notice even in the days after my car will smell like it because of my seatbelt going across or just, you know, the, I guess the fragrance that I leave in there and I love it. At the highlights, each limited edition bottle is numbered for authenticity and rarity. Each piece is inspired by hot jewelry and designed to be treasured as a collectible work of art. Each bottle contains precious gemstones and unique elements made through countless hours of design and master craftsmanship. Each design captures the inspiration set within the bottle. Okay, and it's a 2.5 fluid ounce. I just can't, I don't know, what else can you say about something? I mean, it just leaves you speechless. The bottle it is just gorgeous. They sent me the beautiful travel spray little container there and then a new lipstick case the white isn't that gorgeous and there are several packages that they have like for Mother's Day and gift packages that contain different you know groupings of these fabulous goodies here and then this is the travel I believe yes this would be a great way to start. The thing is, you wouldn't have those bottles, but you could get that really pretty decorative one and put one of these in there, and then you would at least have this beautiful case to take them in. And then last but not least, we have the candle. I was so excited about this. And this one is the Blanc Monk. Blanc. 
I am just gonna ruin how to say these with my southern accent, but it's the Blanc Mon, I don't, I'm not even gonna, I don't know how you're supposed to say this. Let me see if it'll focus in. Okay, there we go. I think you can see it now. Okay, so this says, unwind with this timeless comforting scent that combines the soft nutty aroma of Madagascan almond with the warmth and creamy notes of Mediterranean vanilla. Each candle is a beautiful balance of high quality soy wax with luxury fragrance. I love the soy candles. They are so much cleaner. But look at how, oh my gosh, you guys. The scent just like hit me as soon as I opened it. It is so, the first scent that you smell will be the vanilla, which is so comforting. Let me see. Okay, so there you can see. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. So I'm gonna put their website down below. This is not a sponsored video. I am just so completely enamored with the fragrance and the packaging and i just wanted to share something beautiful with you guys so let's go on to the fragrance this is the last one that they sent me and i love it i think he sent me some notes on this one yeah this is whispers of admiration comes from their floral collection Whispers in the garden like wildflower loved by all. This fragrant lets its true light shine with cherished feelings and warmth and tranquility. Embracing kindred scents of peach. Oh my goodness. We all love peach. Peach, gardenia. I've told you that peaches remind me of my granddaddy because when we used to stay down at the beach with my grandmother, my granddaddy didn't stay down there. He just, you know, went home every night, but then he would come down to the beach every day and he would bring us peaches that he had peeled, cut up, and then you put sugar in them and they just become just good old sweet peaches. He would bring those down to us. And it was so good when you would come off the beach and we would have lunch and just have a bowl of those peaches. So I just always think of peaches. I think of my grandfather when I think of peaches. Gardenia and vanilla, whispers of admiration is the essence of femininity. It is. The fragrance is perfect blend of tropical sweet meets soft florals. I'll have to wear the tear to see, but this one, oh my goodness. Oh gosh, this one makes my stomach like turn and like flutter. What does it remind me of? It's just got that fruity, happy, but deep. It's like sophisticated fruity. <laughs> That's what I'll say. It is just beautiful, just beautiful. And then the next one is one that I just got. It is the Dolce & Gabbana number no. three. And several of you told me to get this. If I loved like watermelon scents, you were so right. This smells so good. Let me spray it over here. Okay, this is definitely not as deep. If you want something that is still a grown-up scent, it still, it doesn't smell like a body spray from Bath & Body Works or Victoria's Secret or anything, but it's much of a lighter, fruitier scent without the deep base. And I have really enjoyed wearing this. This is one of those, unlike the other ones that I've shown you, that you can just go, you know what I mean? It just go all over. I'm not sure if it's a perfume or if it is just like, oh, it's a toilette. So that tells you right there. So it has less of a concentration of the oils that give it that strong scent. And we just talked about this with my Sephora haul, so I won't go into too much detail. Another favorite is the Bronze Goddess. I just did a video on this the other day, so I will link that down below. I have loved these. I will say they smell very different. This does not have that really, really insane copper tone gardenia scent. It is much more of a sophisticated scent. It is, um, you can smell the deeper notes in it. I hate to spray it because I don't want to like mess myself up here, but it has, and I will put some of the notes down below. It is definitely a more of an adult and not as, oh gosh, I gotta spray it. Okay, it's not as strong as the other ones, as, as the House of Siage. It just has a summer, summer sexy, summer sexy. That's what this is. It's summertime, but it's still a, you know, a little bit of a deeper scent, definitely. That is the name of this, summer sexy. This, I would say, summer fun, summer beach fun, sexy, like daytime. 
Brooke put this on the other day and I just smelled it right off the bat. Okay, this one, if you don't like gardenias, you will not like it, but it's not an overpowering. It's not like Marc Jacobs or, uh, is it Mar Marc Jacobs or Michael Kors that has a pure gardenia? I don't like that. I love gardenia in my fragrances, but I don't want it the main, I don't want it to take over and this doesn't. So this just has a hint of like floral copper tone. And if you grew up on the beach, you know what I mean. Just that sunscreen scent. Okay, speaking of sunscreen, I have worn this for years. I have gone through bottle after bottle. I have the sunscreen spray in my beach bag. I have the body lotion and I just, I don't know if they just came out with this, but it is, this makes me so happy. It is the Bobbi Brown Beach Eau de Parfum. This is much less floral. This is pure, this is like if you took a, here, Let me look up the notes for this because this is very interesting. It is like if you made the copper tone scent into a fragrance. Okay, a light, happy, nostalgic scent that evokes warm sunshine and the sea breeze. The best-selling scent captures the atmosphere and attitude of summer. Designed with an intoxicating blend of jasmine, sea spray, and mandarin, this eau de parfum is wearable anytime, anywhere. So it must be the jasmine and the mandarin that is, makes it a little bit different, but it is just summertime in a bottle, but in a, an adult way. You will just, I don't think you'll regret this. You could just try even the body lotion. I enjoy wearing that, but this, I just love it. And it comes, it's kind of like a smaller, nice bottle. It's less than a hundred. I think it was 84 and it comes like this. So the next is just a great love of mine. It is the Bond Number no. 9 Fire Island. This is also, I've actually got two of the Bond Number no. 9 scents that I love in the summer. This morning I got this out, it was upstairs. You can see it's dusty. It's definitely a summertime scent for me. But I sprayed this and oh, just happy, just is the happiest scent. So first I'm gonna read you Fire Island. Fire Island, the scent of bronzing, certified New York sun-kissed skin, the quintessential male-female beach and suntan scent to wear all summer or to summon up the scent of musky sun-baked skin. Notes are cardamom, neroli, white musk, tuberose, and patchouli. It is, it's another sexy summer scent, definitely. Okay, so now let me look up the Coney Island. That is another one of my favorites. This one, is a little bit more of a fresh scent. If you like like um, light blue and scents like that, you're gonna love the Coney Island. Coney Island, what is the smell of fun and how do you bottle it? That was our mission in bond number nine when we decided to capture the essence of Coney Island and turn it into an eau de parfum. A shared contemporary gourmand delight hinting in the tangy margarita mix and vintage water park delights the notes are margarita mix no wonder margaritas are my favorite drink if i ever do drink i haven't probably had a drink in i don't know maybe a year but if i do get a drink it's a margarita i love them um, so the notes are margarita mix melon guava cinnamon chocolate caramel musk vanilla cedarwood and sandalwood i mean if you know anything about fragrances you know how good that is going to smell so would definitely definitely recommend these and you know here again the house of siage bond number no. nine tom ford there's some just high-end fragrances that are just you're going to need one one or two sprays it's going to last you all day you're going to get so many compliments it's just very very sophisticated and i just don't think you'll regret them Okay, speaking of Tom Ford, I've got the Neroli Portofino and Soleil Blanc. Okay, goodness. Ah, I'm sorry, you guys. The Soleil Blanc, the fragrance family is warm and spicy, a warm and sweet gourmand. The key notes are bergamot. I love bergamot. Anything that's got bergamot in it, I love it. Pistachio and Coco de Mer. The fragrance description is luscious, tempting, and insatiable. Tom Ford Soleil Blanc is a solar floral amber scent that features a warm and sweet gourmand an additive solar floral alive with seductive refinement and refreshing decadence 
Um, it's unexpected, sultry, and addictive. A solar floral amber that unapologetically exudes the pursuit of sun and luxury that defines Soleil. So just a beautiful scent. I really don't expect you guys to, you know, know enough from this, but just this puts you in the family. And then you can read, if you're like me, I like to read the reviews. And if you recognize some of these scents, then you could order, or you could just go smell some of these as soon as we can get out out of our houses. Okay, and then the next one is Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. Another good summer scent. Sole Blanc comes in all kinds of body oils. They have a mini shimmering body oil. The Sole Blanc comes in several different sizes. And they also have a parfum. Oh, mine is the Eau de Parfum. I usually get the parfum because I like I want to smell like my fragrance. I don't mind, you know, and I'm not going to a close work environment or anything. And all of these are John approved and he has a sensitive nose. If there's anything that he doesn't like, I usually give it away. Okay, so the Neroli Portofino, it, let's see, and you can get a small one of this too. This fragrance family is fresh, fresh citrus and fruit. So if you like a citrusy, beach scent. This would be a good one. Italian bergamot, orange flower, and lavender. Love lavender. My hand soap is lavender. I love lavender shower gels. I love the scent of lavender. So that is definitely something that I go towards. Uh, vibrant, sparkling, and transport transportive. Neroli Porfino transports you with fresh citrus and fruits. Uh, da -da -da -da. Crisp citrus oil, surprising floral notes, and amber undertones. And then the last one is by Joe Malone and it's wood sage and sea salt. Loved by all. This is a fabulous fragrance. Let me look this one up because it's worth talking about. This one you can also like the small size like I have is 70 and escape the everyday windswept shore where the white waves break and the air is fresh with sea salt and spray. Alive with the mineral scent of rugged cliffs mingled with the woody earthiness of sage. This fragrance is lively spirited and totally joyful. Okay, so this one is like a has a little bit of a deeper scent and it's not necessarily like beachy as in sunscreen smelling. It just has that beachy fresh scent with like that deeper undertone. It is just, let me spray it, oh my goodness. Yes, this one has more of a deeper, it almost has like a deeper woodsy type scent to me, but I love it. All of these I love or they wouldn't be here. If I get something and I don't wear it enough, like I like it, but it's not something that I go to, I usually give them away to friends, family, my mom, someone like that. Okay, you guys, so that is it. I'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day and then let you go. Okay, so today I have on one of my favorite types of outfits, a little white shirt out. This is also a great outfit when you're feeling like you don't want something so body hugging. And then I don't know if you remember this skirt from Zara, any long or I also like skirts like this that are like right at the knee. And then my Schutz little natural colored sandals. And if you remember, this is one of the tops that I got from New York and Company. I love like little white lace tops or I just love the combination of a floral colored skirt with crisp white shirt. It can be like an eyelet or something like that. It's just one of my favorites and I think it's so sweet and you could definitely put a belt with this. But I just kind of wanted the simplicity of just the shirt and the skirt today. Okay, and then for accessories, I have on the, I believe it's Laura Lombardi. I believe that is the name of these, but I'll link them down below. I love them. I just love these 90s style hoops. And then I have on one of Sheila Fajal's rings. All of her stones are from Brazil and like hand set. And I love this one. I guess it's kind of like a mother of pearl, but I thought it would look good with this outfit. Still strawberry margarita hanging tough. My nails have been on here like Tuesday. So yesterday was a week and there's still none of them have popped off or loose or anything so i hope you guys enjoyed this i will try to put as much descriptive stuff in here as i can and i will see you right back here on friday bye bye